it's kind of unfair. You shot your movie on film. Um, I was wondering what your take and your opinion is on shooting versus uh, di digital versus film and, and why you chose film. So digital is terrific. It's great. And uh, it's really versatile. The cameras are smaller, and they just have an infinite uh, footage in them. They just go on and on and on. Very uh, rarely do you have to like change cards and stuff like that. But uh, that's such a wonderful tool. And they've been lovingly calibrated to, uh, to create these beautiful, I mean, some gorgeous films and TV shows have been shot digitally. And they are kind of e e equalizing because a lot of people can get their hands on those cameras. And the, the systems even get flooded with them so you can get a rental for very cheap. Um, so digital is just great. Um, I wanted to go back to film because um, there's just, I don't know, it's like uh, oil versus watercolor. It's, it's, com it's just a different ball game and there's this grain to it. it. It's for the right things, it's the right thing. There's grain to film, there's, and also I love the discipline of filmmaking. I love that you can't see it until, uh, that you, you might be just fucking yourself every day. You just might be, you know, sometimes you, you, you're in the middle of a take and you hear this, sound and you just oh it's the worst feeling <laughs> and they open it up and it's all buckled and it's just and that's how many takes is that how many fucking takes is that and it's gone and you just mourn it you have to mourn it and then you got to do a you know soldier's burial anybody want to say something okay let's move it let's rack out and you got to keep working and the film is, the, the, the mags, a thousand feet of film is this big. That's how big, by this big. And it's incredibly heavy. And that's 11 minutes of film. And you think, well, 11 minutes is some, but if you're doing a six minute scene, you shoot one take and you can't do another one. So you go, do we want to do a pickup? Do we want to do a part of it? Do we want to change mags now and have a stupid 500 foot short end, uh, but then the cool things come out of it. Like, we have 20 feet, do you want to do something? You know what, just get a close up, get this little thing, or get this little moment. Or put it on an actor's face and say, just, just, uh, just look at me, just look at me for 10 seconds. And I've always found a way to use those little things. Um, and also, there's respect for film, because it's enormously expensive, and because if you waste time, you're gonna have to switch the bag before you know it. So. Uh, what that means, with digital, you just turn it on and you just bullshit <laughs> until you feel you have it. That's a mean way to put it, but that kind of starts to happen. With film, it's like, are you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you, no, but are you ready, though? Are you really ready? And also, if you want to move the camera, if you want to be a dick and go like, just go over here. <laughs> they look at you and go, you want to move the camera? Yeah, and they're like, okay, and let's get everybody together and take this fucker, and, I mean, it's a monster, and you gotta take it apart and reassemble it, and there's a guy going, Ugh! <laughs> And then also, every time you take it apart, you, you risk dust. You know, there's this thing, check the gate, is how they move on from something. That's a symbol now in digital. When they, uh, like, you got the scene, yes. Check the gate, or on a good gate, we're moving on. That's not a real thing in digital, it's a tradition. In a film, it's real. Check the gate means you look inside, the gate is where the film is, the film plane, and where the shutters open. So they open the shutter, and checking the gate means is there a hair in there? Because if there's a hair in the gate, that means the last, probably the whole 11 minutes, have had a big, giant hair. <laughs> and gates get dirty. So there's been times where it's like, that was the greatest thing that we ever shot. That was perfect, and the sun just went down. There's a scene in this movie where the sun was going down while we were shooting it, like so fast. And it made for this gorgeous light on Chloe and John, but we got the take and it was gone, it was dark. And they go check the gate and everyone just, it was silence. <laughs> I was so scared. And the dude looks in there and he goes, good gate. And then, ugh. <laughs> I love all these things. And also you don't really get to see the movie till it's done, you get a work print. And even in, cause we, we finished on digital. So the digital dailies are just quick one light transfers that don't really show the depth of the negative or show you how good your film is. You'll never know until you've made all the editing decisions and then you go back and scan it, which takes like an hour per frame. It takes like 
a month to scan a movie. Um, and then you see it and you go, holy fuck, this is what I made. This position sometimes is good and sometimes it's bad. 